Happy Sunday. Happy last Sunday of July, which I cannot believe that we're already there. Yeah. Um, but here's what I want to tell you. You guys ready for this? We still have five days left in the month. So we might be saying, okay, it's the last Sunday of July, but I promise you anything can and will happen in five days, okay? We are living in the day and time of people going silver in an hour um, and amazing things happening no matter what. So we are just gonna take it and run with it. I have so much for you. I hope you guys have a pen. I hope you guys have a notebook and we are going to rock and roll. I got a download. You guys know I usually start my Sunday evenings, usually about six o'clock. I start praying really specifically. Okay, Lord, what am I supposed to share? What would be beneficial? What would add value? Who out there needs to be encouraged or challenged? And what can I say to help move um, you guys forward? So here we go. <laughs> I hope you are ready. So the first thing I want to share with you is, I can teach and train, and you can plug into corporate trainings and webinars all day, every day, but if mindset is an issue, if there is something holding you back, it always will, okay? There is no amount of teaching and training and webinars and all of the things that are gonna out-train if your brain's working against you. Okay, so I want to share with you guys first um, a few things just about, I just did a live on my public profile, um, and I just want to share with you guys some things that I think I probably have taken for granted, the fact that just on this 10-year journey, I've learned how to combat uh, negative feelings and emotions, doubt, um, fears, adversity, challenges, obstacles. Now, I will admit, I can throw a really good pity party. <laughs> I have been known to have some really, really amazing pity parties, but here's what I can tell you. Over this 10-year journey, my pity parties have gotten shorter and shorter, and I let myself pout and have a hissy fit for, you know, two minutes or whatever, and then I get back into action and do what I need to do. So we're, first we're gonna talk a little bit about mindset, and then I'm gonna give you guys some really awesome tools and tips on filling your funnel so that you can finish this month strong. But I've got a few quotes for you. You ready? This is the first one. Your mind will seek to validate the thoughts that you give it, no matter what. Give it vision and give it truth. Okay, I need you guys to think about that for a second. Your brain is going to validate. So if you say to your brain, I'm not a good leader, your brain is gonna say, you're not a good leader because this, 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 and this. If you're telling yourself lies, if you are replaying fears and doubts in your brain, your brain is a computer and will seek to validate the data or the statement that you are giving it. So I want you guys to understand, it is your job to be proactive, to give your brain vision and truth, okay? And if you are believing lies, you will be sidelined on your network marketing journey. You will not achieve the ranks and the goals and reach the number of people that you possibly could if you are listening to and believing lies. So if you were to say things like, I'm a crappy leader, um, I have to work harder than everybody else, I have no value to give people, I'm unorganized, I'm burned out, you know, all of those things, your brain is going to seek to validate and tell you, yep, you're pretty much, <laughs> you're, that's pretty much you. So we have to learn how to say the right things to our brain so that it can seek to validate. So rather than saying, I'm not a good leader because, what if you were to ask yourself, why am I a good leader? I'm a good leader because this, 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 and this. Your brain will learn to adapt and start to give yourself positive affirmations and seeking to, um, to support what you're asking it. So you need to learn how to ask the right questions. Why am I a good leader? I'm a good leader because people trust me. 
I'm a good leader because I add value. I'm a good leader because I am consistent. You will be able to find those truths and reinforce the positive, okay? So I need you guys to really, really focus on capturing what is going on in your mind and realizing that you have to take control of your mind. If you want any level of success on your network marketing journey, you have to control your mind. Mindset is not something that we can talk about too much, okay? Um, actually, mindset is the number one success indicator in your life. I pulled up some notes. I've got some of these awesome notebooks. This one just happens to be one of my, um, my favorite Erin Condren ones. And I've got years of training of, of notes that I've taken from podcasts, from uh, retreats, from all of the things. And this one really, really jumped out at me. You have to mind your mind. Take note of what's going through your mind. Recognize those thoughts. And here's, what, here's something important. Don't shame yourself for saying, okay, I've got negative thoughts or I'm down on myself. I need you to acknowledge that these are your thoughts and then learn, we're gonna learn how to take captive those thoughts. What story are you telling yourself? If you're telling yourself a red light story or a negative story or a story that's sidelining you or taking you out of the game, you have to be aware enough to say, this story does not serve me. I am going to use the power of my brain. I am going to rewrite the story to a green light story. I am going to give my brain, program my brain with a new narrative that is going to put me on the path for success. You have the power over your thoughts and directions, and you can choose what is repeatedly playing in your brain, okay? There's a lot of people, you guys. There are so, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. You listen to the trainings, you're on the webinars, you're in Gen Viev's group, you're reading the books, you're doing all of the things, and then when it gets quiet and you're alone with your own mind, your mind is sabotaging your journey. So you think you're showing up and doing all of the right actions, all of the things you're doing the do, and then your mind is working against you. Your mind is powerful, okay? But here's what I want you to know. It takes a conscious, intentional and proactive decision to say, I am going to program and train my brain for success. I am going to mind my mind. And when I start to have feelings of doubt, feelings of fear, feelings of comparison, feelings of insecurity, feelings of any of those things that tell you you can't do it or you're not worthy, it is nobody else's responsibility other than your own to say, sit down and shut up to the bad thoughts, to the negative thoughts, right? To the self-sabotaging thoughts. You have to realize that you are the only one that's in control and that your mind is the most powerful tool that you have to be on this road to success. Okay, so we can teach, we can train, we can give you the tools, we can teach you the systems, all of the things. And until you realize that you are going to be a conscious creator for good and not self sabotaging yourself, that you are going to train your brain to work for you and not against you, it's going to be an uphill battle. You'll get so far, you'll get to a certain level. You might even get to Emerald. I got to Emerald still just on a wing and a prayer, honestly. And after I got to Emerald, I started to have a really hard chat with myself. And that's when I started opening up those books and realizing I needed to intentionally and consciously program my brain, my mind, my heart, all of that to work for me. And guess what? There's enough people in this world that are gonna tell you you're crazy. There's enough people in the world that are gonna tell you this is network marketing and you shouldn't be doing it. There are enough people out there saying, you know, oh, you got sucked into one of those things. There's enough people in the world who are waiting and ready to bur burst your bubble, your dreams and your hopes. You don't need to be working against yourself, okay?
So I want you to remember that. What are a few things that you can do? You can do a gratitude journal, you can pray, you can write down those affirmations. What are those truths about you? Why do people like you? Why, you know, write down that list. Sometimes I need to, I've even got affirmations on here. I attract business builders. My business is booming. Everyone wants to build a, build a business with me. I add value to people. I have affirmations written on my bulletin board right behind this computer that I still need to remind myself of, okay? Mind your mind, okay? It's, it's a, a wonderful and a terrible thing, your mind, okay? And we have to use it for good because it is so incredibly powerful. That's the first thing that I wanted to chat with. Even look at this bookmark that I found. Isn't that a cool thing? Even just simple reminders of, you know what? I want to be in Hawaii and I want to have, I want to smash my goals. Simple reminders of ways that you're going to program your brain. If you're a visual learner, if you're auditory, whatever that case might be, make sure that you are programming your brain for success. Okay? So that's the first thing. Next thing, five days left in the month, you guys. We're good. We're a little bit behind where we were last month, but last month was epic. I'm willing to be, you know, right under epic this month, but I still have huge, amazing hopes and dreams for what July is going to be for each and every one of you. And I want all of you on here to know, whatever your goal is, it is not too late. Five days in where we are with company momentum, with incentives, with open enrollment, with the 369, with the fast start, you name it, all of those things, anything is possible. We have people who are going silver and grabbing their first three friends using their referral link in an hour, okay? So anything is possible. So here's what I want you to do. We are gonna focus next on, it's not too late to fill your funnel, get out samples, and have enough to where you can do all of your follow-up and totally kill your goals in the next five days. So you might be thinking to yourself, Jamie, are you looking? Are you looking at my hair and the fact that I have not? Uh, <laughs> I can I can see you. I am literally. I might have to just bring like cheers over and do like a courtesy call because it's a different religion at this point. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I can. I totally. You're. I'm gonna have to move the the gallery screen because I can see. I knew that's exactly what you were thinking. Okay, moving right along. Uh, yeah. Okay, how do you fill your funnel? What are a few ways that you can focus on getting some new information, some new attractions, some new people interested? Okay, you guys ready? I'm so excited about this. I cannot take credit for this. Somebody sent me this article. It's absolutely brilliant and you are gonna want to write these tips down and I'll try to type them out for you. There's a gal on Instagram, she works his way. So it's a, a um, Jesus led, business builder and she does a lot of social media training. So she gives some really, really good information on how should we be showing up on social media? How should we be getting our word out there? How should we be branding ourselves and helping to grow our businesses? And I love, love, love what she said. She said the first thing that comes to mind um, with social media for us should be, are we adding value? So when people come to your social media, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, those are the two main ones, but whether it be YouTube, um, some of you youngsters have um, Snapchat, all of those things. I want you to be thinking about what am I putting out there? Why would somebody stop their scroll? Um, and here's a few things. And like I said, this is not, I can't take credit for this information. This gal, her company is She Works His Way. But listen to this really quick. This just jumped out at me. Today's average social media scroll is stressful. Whether you feel like there are too many opinions or just too many grabs for a moment of your attention, the majority of posts made contradict the name of the medium itself. Social, which is companionship of others, and media, which is a means of communication. So companionship and communication it does not say sales and marketing. So we don't like to be sold to. People don't like to be sold to. Sales and marketing are really important as we're building a business, right? But even important parts don't work when they're not in the right place, okay? So here's a few amazing tips on 
the last five days of the month, how can we fill our funnel? How can we get people to stop their scroll? How can we get people to look at what we are sharing on social media and say, they have something that I might need to ask questions about. The first thing is engage. Um, look at your posts and ask yourself, does this look like information that an audience would be interested in? Have you created connection? Your social media content should look like a conversation and not a presentation. That really hit me. I was like, yeah, how many times have I like wanted to like educate on ingredients or just like present all of the things about Plexus. So are we working to create a conversation with somebody? How can we be engaging? And I will tell you, she's going to go on to explain how we can do that, but that's a really good thing. Are we really working on engaging? Are we doing a presentation or a conversation? And I thought that was a very good way to think about it. The second way, and this is one of my favorites, and this is something that I really truly feel like has helped to increase my engagement and really get people's attention is to encourage. Knowing that especially in this day and age, scrolling is stressful for social media users, your post might be the only break that they get. You've heard it before, people don't know, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Use your social media to create content that edifies and builds up. You guys, I'm telling you, if we create a happy spot on social media, somebody is going to be drawn to coming back to us. If we can create that moment that's colorful and visually appealing and encouraging, even if it's just sharing a quote, saying this spoke to my heart today, and have it be, people are going to want to come back to your social media if they know that it's not confrontational or judgmental or argumentative or just something that makes you feel yucky. Is your social media scroll a place of encouragement? The next one could be to educate, okay? And I love this and I don't want you to just think, are we educating on products? Are we educating on ingredients? What if you were to educate somebody on, oh my gosh, I just found out the best way to make my protein shake while I'm staying in a hotel traveling and educate somebody, add value to them and say, did y'all realize if you use your blender bottle with this and if you pack this in your to-go thing, you can make your shake on an airplane? Like there's lots of different ways that we can educate somebody where they're gonna feel like, you know what? I'm going back to that page because she helped me. She helped me get someplace faster. She shortened the learning curve, he or she, um, shortened the learning curve for me on whatever. Karen refinishes furniture. Crystal reroutes plants. Like I go back to Crystal Gonzalez's feed all the time because she's like birthing baby plants by rerouting and, and pulling stuff off other people's sidewalks. I'm like, I gotta go see what else Crystal's planting for free with all of her plants. She's educating on, oh, I've got a plant. I don't want to go out and buy another plant. Here's how you can make two plants. Like literally, if you find ways to educate your audience, they are going to come back to you. People are always absorbing information, podcasts, YouTube, all of the things. So find something that you're passionate about. And like I said, guys, this does not have to be plexus. Find two or three things that you are so passionate about and start educating your audience. You will find your niche. You will find your group. You will create new followers for people who are going to keep coming back and showing up saying, this person is adding value to me and I want to come back and learn more. That is how my YouTube channel was created, started. When I realized what network marketing was and started figuring out how to be successful, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to put it out there. Like, it took me two years to figure out this information. If I can help shorten somebody's learning curve, here you go. I just learned this, now let me tell you. So it doesn't even have to be something that's yours. Like, me just taking from a favorite book in reading one paragraph from my favorite book and educating my audience on something that I found, um, 
that's amazing. And people can take those little bits of information um, as you educate them. And that will create value, that will create a following, and that will help you with your social media. Um, the next one is be an example. Um, the story is the easiest way to help the human brain make sense of information. Whenever possible, share examples of your brand and what you represent and what you sell by being the example, but creating a story around it. There are so many of you that are just killing it with, I got my mom juice, I've got my active, I'm going out to chase the babies, or y'all go follow Kelsey, bless her heart. She's got her three-year-old twins and her one-week-old newborn, and she is rocking and rolling her pink drink and her active and showing up on social media, saying what her product, she's creating a storyline around new moms, who can find hope in supplements that help them get through their day, okay? So be an example and find a way to create a story where you can share that example. And then the other way is to entertain. And here's what I have to say about this. If you find something that makes you chuckle and it's, you know, something worthy of resharing, the one that I read, I think I read it like 50 times before I finally reposted it, and it was the one that said, Everybody said that June was going to be all, everything was going to be all better. You lied because it's July and you lied and it's just not even that funny. But I giggled every time I read it. Um, and so resharing something that entertains. Humor is just one of the best human emotions. And if you have something that you can put out there, I think that's why people like coming and reading John's stuff because he puts stuff out there that makes you chuckle about our lives. It's just keeping it real with you know, things that make you giggle. If you can create laughter and create connection through humor, um, that is definitely something that's going to help you with your social media, okay? Um, at the, I don't wanna go too long because I do wanna get into some practical end of the month stuff, but here's just some really quick, if you don't know how to show up on social media, um, just some ways that you can, can come up and, and show up. Um, spotlight a team member for a job well done or something that they did. Show something um, from start to finish, kind of behind the scenes. An example would be if you you know have a great makeup tip, or you know you have curly hair and you flat iron it, or your joyome routine. You know, there's a lot of behind the scenes before and afters that you can use that will draw people in. I will not even admit to you guys how many makeup tutorials I watch. <laughs> I get sucked into Instagram and all those gorgeous mascara girls in the network marketing mascara with their little magnet compacts with all their little squares that they ordered. And I watch that. It's entertaining. It's humorous. They turn out beautiful at the end of every dang video. Um, and that's their behind the scenes. I'm like, you took that face and now that face looks like that. And it's the same face and I'm amazed. So behind the scenes, what can you do? Making your shake or whatever, any kind of behind the scenes. Um, uh, let's see, share a selfie, post the zoom of all of the squares and talk about Sunday nights are your favorite behind the scenes. People love behind the scenes stuff. Um, and how to be an encouragement would be just general encouragement, um, a truth that speaks to you or that you never get tired of hearing about. Share a weakness that you're working on. A, one that I see a lot is when people say, and I've shared this before, comparison. Comparison has been something that has sidelined me or slowed me down quite a bit. And so just being vulnerable and sharing with people, hey guys, you're watching the highlight reel, but behind the scenes is pretty ugly. But when I'm comparing myself to all the other highlight reels, right, what can happen? Just try to be an encouragement by letting people know we all struggle. Um, shout outs are great. Congratulate, congratulating people on success, sharing a helpful um, perspective that you have, saying thank you for things, just being, I love when my, the green light's on on the chat, I just love popping in and saying, hey beautiful, how are you today? Hey, gorgeous, love seeing your smile on social media. Like I love just trying to offer genuine compliments and encouragements because people might not have heard that 
for a day, a week, a month, a year, ever in their entire life, right? I still can think of things as a child that my parents said to me or that a teacher said to me or a youth group person said to me that stuck with me. Like it was something that one sentence was used for powerful, positive change and good. And could we be somebody who speaks life into somebody? Um, let's see. I don't want to do like too much, but I think a lot of these are just really some personal things. Maybe you've got new followers or friends and you haven't done a 10 things you don't know about me post, right? Introduce yourself. I love those little quizzes, 10 things you didn't know, or five truths and a, a lie. What are things, how well do you know me? Um, a post I think Monica did last week was share a picture of us, how we know each other, or one of your favorite pictures of me with you, just reminiscing down memory lane. Like, what are ways that you can connect with people and create that engagement? Share a hobby, share a to-do list, share a charity that's important to you. What are your some of your values and priorities? Um, what's different about you today than a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago? That could be great for what your Plexus journey has offered. Just some really good things. So again, this is just kind of to get you thinking about, one, am I showing up consistently on social media? Two, if you're not, why? And does it feel hard? Is it something that you're like, uh, I don't know what to post? Three, I'm gonna encourage you, you need to be showing up on social media to engage, to encourage, to educate, to set an example and to entertain. And when you do those things consistently, you are inadvertently filling your funnel for people who are going to see your Plexus posts and what you have to offer. This, I keep this in my notebook of IPA, like checking it off the list. Am I showing up? If I don't know what to do, how can I be an encouragement? Can I throw up a quote? Can I throw up a Bible verse? Can I do something? And, and I'm gonna just keep it real. Some of you, your people need to see you. They wonder what you're doing and where you've gone and if everything is okay and you just need to post a selfie. <laughs> Giving everybody permission to take a selfie and post a selfie and just get back in touch with letting everybody in your life know you're good or letting everybody in your life know, hey, I'm not good, but I'm going to make it through and let people love on you. Let people encourage and support you as you walk whatever journey you're walking. Um, Again, Monica, I'm going to give you a shout out. You are very vulnerable. And, you know, this is where I was five years ago. And here's where I am today. And that was something that drew people in, that created engagement, created a story. It, you let people into a little piece of your life that they may not have known about. And you said, I'm here. I'm showing up. And here's where my journey is taking me. And I absolutely loved it. Okay. So that was the second thing I wanted to cover. I told you guys to be ready. Buckle up. Last thing. As we get ready to finish out these last five days of the month, some just practical stuff. If you are not, okay, first thing is welcome. We've got a bunch of brand new people on the call. We love you and this team is just welcoming you with open arms, whether you're here just for your product journey or you're here to rock and roll moving forward, sharing your referral link and getting some of the July bonuses, like we are ready to help you. Um, some amazing things are going on. So just be thinking about what are my goals? What do I want my journey to look like? Okay. And then for those of you that are ready to rock and roll to silver, you want to find your first three people and get some of those bonuses headed your way. How are you sharing? How are you reaching out? How are you following up? Are you using videos? We have an amazing back office with videos and training on all of the things. Make sure you're chatting with your sponsor, your upline connecting here, use the search bar for whatever you need um, on the team page. We are here to help you. For those of you who are pushing for gold, senior gold ruby, senior ruby, we've got so many amazing rank ups that are gonna happen. I want you to be in your back office. You need to know where am I on the 26th? We've got two days until subscription deadlines when people are all shipping and processing. I don't want you waiting until the 28th at 10 p.m to say, uh-oh, I only have three days, this is where I need to be. I want you to be working on where am I, here's my estimate for subscriptions that are going through, where do I wanna be, and how many new people do I need to help come into my team? And then be looking at, who can I help grab their first three friends? Who's grabbed five and one more will get them that next bonus? You know, who's at 
400 PV and, and wants to bump up to 500 for leaders contest. I want you to be in your back office, getting to know your team, getting to know your people, running those who has PV, who has team points, who has 10 points that needs to go silver, who's got 35 points that can add three people and go senior silver, who was at 90 last month and is two people away from gold. Those are the kinds of things that as you're starting to move forward and progress, we need to be in those back offices and figuring out where you want to be and then doing that practical, this is how I'm gonna get there. I went and bought a whole new thing of post-its, y'all. There is no lying when you write it in back and write and you know that you've got 17 orders until your next rank up and you put those numbers on a post-it note and stick it where you're gonna see it all day, every day. Magic happens when you name it, claim it, write it down and post it. So if you have not done that yet, go get your scotch tape, go get your masking tape, go get your duct tape, start ripping little squares, dig in that junk drawer and see what post-its you have. And it's time to get some accountability for what you want to happen in your life. Because there's no point in getting your mind right and saying all the right things and then not actually doing the work. You could post it, note yourself to diamond, okay? And if you need help with that, let me know. I will help you post it, note yourself to diamond. So that's pretty much what I've got for you. That we literally five days, anything can happen in five days. I am naming and claiming right now that we are gonna add 300 more team members, um, which would help us match last month's numbers for total team. Um, but I wanna name and claim some really big rank ups, you guys. We've got some good possibilities. We're on company momentum with the incentives, with the bonuses, with all the things. We've got the triplex event on August 3rd. Leaders Retreat is in full force. And here's, here's some naming and claiming for you. For those of you who are rock and rolling saying I'm gonna be at Leaders Retreat, please write it on a post-it note. For those of you who are gonna be shopping with me at Nordstrom's, please write it on a post-it note. And for those of you that say it's not possible, I think there's already eight people who have already won all the things in the contest. They're already, already shopping at Nordstrom's three weeks into the contest. Anything is possible, okay? So you need to print up your little thing for what you need for your leader's retreat. You need to know, 2,800 points, I'm going shopping at Nordstrom's. You need to know what the goal is, and then you need to print up this thing and say, oh my goodness, what do I have control over? I have control over my level one recruiting for team members. I have control over my level one customers. I have control over my personal rank ups. I can even help control team development for rank ups. I have control over my PV. I can go buy some more stuff. Y'all wanna see my shelf again? Go buy some more stuff. <laughs> I use it all, I take it all. My family uses it all and takes it all. I love it all. It's, you know what? Buy some more stuff, because guess what? That helps the pay point too. Did you guys know if everybody had a 200 PV order, personal order, our pay point would like go through the roof. Did you know that? Anything over 100 PV directly contributes to increasing the pay point value. Let's all go buy $200 worth of stuff if you can. I'm just telling you. We've got really, really good products that do really, really amazing things. <laughs> Y'all think I'm crazy. I drink, I drink the shake seven days a week. I have this fear that I'm gonna run out. And every week when I go open a brand new thing of lean, I'm like, thank you, Jesus, that I'm never gonna run out of lean. It's all there ready for me. You have 95 bags, you're <laughs> never running out. <laughs> I've seen that with my own eyes. I too have a shelf of lean because I drink it every day. So yeah. I get it. Well, listen, I want my perks points. I've got, I'm Sarah one, Sarah two, John, we're all getting our subscription, right? Subscription in place. We all have 150 PV because we're getting all the things with the oils and the free shipping. Like you don't count me out for anything. Sign me up for it all. And you have to know I'm leading by example, subscription, perks, product of the month. Y'all get that collagen added. I've got three new collagens headed my way with my subscriptions, with my product of the month. You don't ever have to wonder if I'm leading by example. <laughs> One more time, you ready? <laughs> okay, now y'all go do what you can. Get, the, get that PV up, but my point is, 
name it, claim it, write it down, tell your sideline buddy, tell your running buddy, tell your sponsor, tell me, because this is going to be an amazing month. And remember, it's not about points, it's not about dollar signs, it's about the people whose lives that are being changed. But gosh darn it, it's really fun when you're debt free and you can build an amazing dream house and, and help so many people and all the things. And I want all of that for all of you. So thank you guys for being on. Thanks for listening to my long-winded self. I love you all. Um, let me know what you need and we will rock and roll. I'll pop in. We're going to do power hours sometime. I don't know. My life is just, you know, just, it is what it is, but I will be on this week quite a bit with some zooms and giving you guys some opportunity to ask questions and, and we'll do some work with needs and all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys so much. You're amazing. Love you all.